us to welcome you all to this wonderful afternoon at Naseem Healthcare <coughs> Searing Branch. With much gratitude, we would like to thank you to each and every one for being there for us all the time in our journey. All the support you have extended towards us is incredible. Naseem Healthcare is a top healthcare provider in Qatar and one of the reasons behind this achievement is definitely you all. The distinguished media partners, thank you once again for being here today. We, the team of Naseem Healthcare, has been involved in various CSR projects and activities aiming to provide society and community-based services. Our purpose is to serve humanity with utmost care, caution and kindness. I feel delighted to say Naseem Healthcare has been involved in a lot of activities in recent past. I think most of it you all know already. Like blood donation camps, during COVID times, providing food and other essentials to the needy people, collaborated with Qatar Charity in various initiatives, free health checkups, weight reduction camps in schools, month-long events on breast cancer awareness, walkathons, and so on and so forth. The list is quite big. I will not take much time now and would like to proceed with our today's meet. Before that, I would like to kindly request all of you to please silent your mobile so that we don't get distracted, neither get disturbed in the session. With great honor, may I invite our dignitaries of Naseem Healthcare to come up on stage to glorify the event and highlight the purpose for us being here today. The first and most important person Mr. Mohammed Miandad, Managing Director of Naseem Healthcare. The next is eminent Dr. Munir Ali, the General Manager of Naseem Healthcare. Next is our very own Dr. Mudassir Rehan, General Surgeon, Surgical Center, Naseem. May I kindly request all three of you to take your places, please. To have an overview of today's event, may I humbly request our Honorable MD, Mr. Mohammed Miandad, to address the meet, please. All to you, sir. Good evening, everyone. <coughs> Thank you for joining us today. To all my friends in the media, and good people present here. I thank you all always being supportive and appreciative of Nesim Healthcare's progress and initiatives. I would like to express our gratitude for the positive exposure and representation you give us in the society. Today we are taking the commitment a step further with a special initiative. This is the reason we decided to be among you. To make an important announcement that we believe would have an immense impact on many lives. At Nessim Healthcare, we always been dedicated to provide quality healthcare of global standards accessible to all communities. Our progress is defined by the lives we have improved and impact we have made on the well-being of those we serve. I am honored to announce 1 million Qatar Riyal of surgeries where we aim to provide financial aid to those in need. We understand that for many individuals and family, access to necessary surgical procedure may be challenging due to financial constraints. With this initiative, we aim to ease the burden and provide a lifeline for those in need. Nassim Surgical Center, of course, will be the heart where people will benefit of these initiatives. We are always aware of various challenges faced by the entire healthcare system and are 
goal is to ensure that every individual has access to care they need regardless of their financial situations. In coming days, Nassim Healthcare will extend the scope of supporting humanity in all aspects and rise as a socially responsible brand with soon to relaunch, to launch CSR on Nassim Humans. I invite all your participation in our journey as we strive to make difference in the lives those we serve to create a brighter, healthier future for all. I strongly believe that through you, one million word surgery will reach the deserving people. So now I would like to uh, ask Dr. Munir to speak you in details. Thank you. Thank you so much. A very good evening to one and all present here. Uh, it is with uh, great pleasure that I am present before you to speak about the launch of one million worth financial aid for the deserving and needy people. I thank our uh, managing director for such an initiative, which is of its first of its kind. extending our, uh, ex extending the uh, uh, financial aid to the deserving people. This initiative is going to be a milestone in our journey. At Nassim Healthcare, we are proud of the exceptional care that we provide to our patients and the positive impact that we have on the communities that we serve. <coughs> So, to ensure that our surgical floor with exceptional infrastructure and the latest uh, equipment reaches to the needy people and, as our MD said, to the whole community in Qatar. So, this 1 million financial aid will be given for the people who, who is being um, decided by the committee that is being formed. The committee consists of senior management from Nassim Healthcare, finance, respective surgeons, and also the media partners, uh, other social forums, uh, other associations who suggest a deserving candidate. So who can, how is this facility, how is this uh, financial aid provided? A patient or a guest who comes to our center either through walk-in or uh, through a referral approaches our uh, surgeons and the surgeons does a complete examination and understands that the patient is in need of a surgery. So the, uh, the, the need of the surgery is being explained to the patient and the, the amount, the, the, the cost for the surgery is being discussed and the respective surgeons understands that the patient is in need of the surgery but cannot afford or uh, may need a financial aid. He refers this he refers this patient to the uh, to the committee. Uh, so for this committee, there is a coordinator which uh, will be uh, announced, uh, which, which is given through the, uh, which is already given to you uh, through the media. So this uh, coordinator uh, approaches the committee and makes sure that, does a complete study, makes sure that the, uh, understands that the, the, the patient is in need of the surgery, in need of the financial aid, and confirms it. So the, the financial aid is being provided by the Nassim Healthcare, which is Nassim Humans, which is again a part of Nassim Healthcare. And the amount is being discussed and the, the financial aid is being discussed to the patient and he goes back to the surgeon and the surgery is being delivered to the patient. I'm proud to be a part of this Nassim Healthcare's initiative of providing one million worth of free surgeries to the deserving. 
and to play a crucial ro role in the lives of those we deserve, uh, those we serve. Our strength lies in our commitment to excellence, innovation, and accessibility. And I'm confident that we will continue to make a positive impact in the years to come. Thank you. Now over to uh, Dr. Rehan for uh, explaining the surgeries and the facilities that we have.
to wean the patient after surgery. We have seven IP rooms and again with high-end facility in case if patient needs to stay overnight or more than 24 hours. Coming to our departments, we have uh, seven departments, six surgical and one medical. Other than surgery, we have orthopedics, ob ENT, urology and OMF departments and the medical being the medical gastro. So, and the procedures, the services what we perform, let me divide uh, the department wise and general laparoscopic surgeries. We start with thyroid, breast, optoglobal hernias, inguinal hernias, appendix, gallbladder, hemorrhoids, fistula, fissures and panel sinuses. And in the extremities we do perform varicose vein surgeries and as a routine all skin and soft tissue settings with abscesses. In the orthopedic departments we perform mainly the soft tissue and tendon injuries with fracture fixation, either open or closed, joint reductions, knee arthroscopic procedures for ACL and meniscal injuries, shoulder arthroscopic for frozen shoulders. Under gynec department, we do perform insertion and removal of IUDs, registries, cervical polyps, DNC, diagnostic lab, and lab ovarian drilling for PCOD and ovarian cystectomies. ENT, we have uh, foreign body removal for ear, tympanoplasty, grommet insertion. In nose, we perform septoplasty, turbinectomies, and FES, that is functional endoscopic sinus surgeries, throat, tonsils, and adenoids. Urology, we do have uh, open and endourological procedures. Open, we have scrotal, testicular, hydrocele, varicoceles, wide variety of surgeries in urology with endourology, cystoscopy, and bladder and erotic stone removals. OMF, obviously, the, all the intra oral cystic and solid swelling excision, biopsy of the precancerous lesions. The medical gastro, with the state of art unit suit with upper GI and lower GI diagnostic procedures, with biopsy of the mucosal lesions. Therapeutic procedures like polypectomy and sclerosal injection for bleeding mucosal lesions. The procedures are not limited to what I have mentioned. These are the routine just procedures performed in our surgical day. Alhamdulillah, by God's grace, we have performed more than 500 plus surgeries with near zero complication. The complications we avoid and take care with our updated evidence-based protocols in our surgical center with our highly skilled and experienced surgical team. With this, I conclude my brief introduction to our Nassim Surgical Center and I request on behalf of our dignitaries and I seek help from the media friends to convey our message to each and every resident of Qatar so that NED may get benefited and we will be given opportunity to serve them and be a reason for their smile especially when they are in pain. Thank you. so much once again to our dignitaries for giving us such a detailed information to all of us. To making it uh, more simpler, kindly let us see uh, some glimpse of infographic of one dream, one hope and one million smiles once again. session round. If you have any questions again in your mind, please feel free. Our dignitaries are here. 
doctor is here, they will be very happy to answer all your queries. Any questions or any doubt if anyone has? another presentation which is a little bit of more details. Can we all have a look here please on the screens? for the presentation today. So again, I would like to ask if anybody have any questions, we are very happy to assist you today. Any doubts, any queries? As always, we will always need your support the same way that you have provided us since beginning. Every patient in a percentage of the Sahai Mai Nalgunadi. Hundred percentage Nalgunadawa, though, are limit to each other. Thank you. So, Adana uh, Nadi Parna, we are giving a financial aid on Amakuda Kurkunu. Other our patient in the uh, financial status and okay, hundred percent good company, hundred percent good. Patient status and the patient's status and the patient's status. 100% are the patient's status. Okay, thank you. So, first, the doctor is the doctor. The patient is a complete doctor. The doctor is a 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 doctor. So the, the question was how, how much time does it take to get the approval from this uh, committee to uh, give the financial aid. So first and foremost is the, uh, how urgent is the surgery. The first surgery is urgent, we, the other approvals is secondary, we go for the surgery and then we go get back uh, for the financial aid. I mean, uh, we make sure that the patient gets the right treatment at the right time. So uh, once the, this has been referred from an organization or forums or uh, any associations, we make sure that this, our surgeon uh, does a complete thorough checkup uh, with, the pa with the patient and make sure that the surgery is uh, required for the patient and the patient has been uh, referred to the committee. As I told before, the committee consists of uh, senior management, doctors, respective doctors and uh, of course the reference from the forums, uh, associations and etc. and also the Nassim Finance. 
and we uh, make sure that the, the patient is uh, deserving. So once it is uh, confirmed, the, uh, the, the approval is given within 24 to 48 hours. Here is the campaign day. Duration is the same. That's why we have a similar campaign. We have a 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 general surgery, orthopedics, gynecology, urology. We have a campaign. We have a campaign. We have a campaign. We have a campaign. Financial <laughs> 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 So this that is what we have. We have formed a committee. So that is the status of the finance. I mean, the, their financial status is determined by their salary, their job status, job uh, status, their uh, business. Uh, this one. I mean, uh, their uh, uh, business status, financial status, and everything. So this is been. This will be decided by the committee. The committee that we have formed. The committee decides. The committee includes uh, the, even, the, even from the, the, the reference that we get from uh, the media, the persons from the media, the associations, the forums, government officials, embassies, etc. And we, uh, we, we believe that you know no fake ups or anything comes of that sort. So we believe in people and uh, we take their words. Salary is very much. 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 Salary is very Salary is very much. 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 Salary so uh, the question that he asked was, uh, is there any salary uh, limit that we have kept? So we have not kept any salary limit. So I was just given a, stating an example. A bachelor with 5,000 riyad salary might, uh, might be able to afford a surgery worth 3,000 or 6,000 because he's a bachelor and he might have some savings. But a person with uh, 10,000 real salary might not be able, with five kids, might not be able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, afford a salary for uh, 4,000 or 5,000. So we have not kept any limit for the salary, uh, uh, such salaries uh, limits. It is just that the financial, uh, it's just that financial status at the time of the, uh, the surgery advised for him. And we understand that if we understand that he is in need of that surgery at that point of time and he is not able to help himself, yes, we are. We at Nasim Nasim Healthcare is there to extend our help. I mean, help. So uh, what, uh, the question was, what are the inclusions and exclusions? Am I right? <laughs> so right from the uh, right from the investigations to the surgery, everything is con uh, covered. The only thing is that uh, the, the financial aid is given for everything, but except uh, uh, VIP rooms are not included in this, and of course some special investigations like MRI and all is been excluded. 
and also uh, special implants has been excluded from the uh, from this uh, financial aid or from this package, uh, this one million, and also aesthetic surgeries, aesthetic surgeries and bariatric surgeries also been excluded from uh, this aid. Reimbursable for another body for so his question is, is it only through embassies or uh, organizations that uh, they be select any patient? No. Any walk-ins, any, any guest who comes to Nassim Healthcare and uh, approaches our surgeons, and the surgeons uh, understand that he is in need of a surgery, he is being referred to this committee. This committee includes Nassim sir, sir, I mean senior management and finance and prospective doctors. Uh, of course, media is also part of the committee, but not necessarily that they are always uh, a part of it. So if we understand that that individual is coming as a walk-in, yes, of course, it is. Uh, we consider them as well. Any patient who has been referred from other uh, you know, centers who, who doesn't have the facility of uh, daycare facilities is also being considered. considered. It is, we, we do not categorize any patient. For us, everybody is guest and we give service to everybody equally. Be it labor, be it uh, high-end officials, be it anybody, we give them equal care. So we, we, don't, we don't categorize as that. For us, everybody is guest, everybody is patient. Last round. Any any last questions that are popping up in your head? Feel free. If not, then we will come to an end of our Q and A session. Thank I you so much. Uh, thank you so much. So I hope that uh, you spread this message to all the needies, and uh, with your support, I hope we hope that uh, this one million world surgeries re reaches to the deserving.